Hey, good afternoon. This is Chris Lechness with MobilitySite.com. Here today to give you a little first look of the HP iPad HW6925 uh, pocket PC phone from Singular. Uh, recently released, uh, or recently announced, uh, I believe it was released today, in fact. Uh, it's quad band, GPRS, Edge, uh, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, has a built in GPS receiver as the 6500 series did. Um, it's a 1.2 or 1.3 megapixel camera, 1200 milliamp hour battery, uh, 128 meg of ROM, 64 meg RAM, PXA272 416 megahertz processor. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty nice device. Uh, I apologize today for the uh, conditions. Uh, you hear some noise. I'm on the road today. Um, don't really know what to say, but we're getting it done where we can get it done at. So enjoy. Got the singular 6925, and here's the box. Let's open it up. It's already been opened up and pre-charged, uh, and the uh, labels or the uh, protective films have been removed. But uh, let's see here. We got the manual. Tips, a business card, let's see here, you got the actual device, 6925, got a battery, take that out. Got this uh, funky uh, belt clip here. I'll show you how that works a little bit. Headset. Probably won't take that out. Jack Cook's going to be reviewing this phone for us. Power adapter with the uh, HP. Tip there, power right there, plugs in here like this. And you got a sync cable here. Goes from uh, that same connector to USB. So let's open up the uh, device and slap the battery in. Pop that right there, and that's it. SIM card goes there. We'll get that in a few minutes, and then that cover just slides on up, snaps into place. All right, so let's now put the battery or the uh, SIM card in and uh, give it a whirl. Got your uh, singular. SIM card here. So just take the battery cover back off here. And take the battery out. Should have did this when I was doing it a minute ago. And you just slide the SIM card in right there. Okay, my fat fingers having a problem there. Let's see. Slides right in there. And you put the battery back in. Slide the cover back in. And voila. And turn it on and get to going. Got this uh, nice little flip up cover here. Let's see it do a little boot there. Sorry about the glare. Let me zoom in a little bit here. All 
I'm going to set that down. Sorry for the choppiness there. And there we are. Okay, let's take a look at this. Um, it's a real nice size, as you can see. Here's some other devices with it. Uh, the 700WX from uh, Palm, Palm Trio, 700WX from Sprint. Uh, a little thicker. Basically the same. Eh, it's a little, uh, a little longer. Feels about the same. The uh, Trio is a little more solid feeling, but uh, there's a little size difference there. The uh, K-Jam, my favorite, which, you know, K-Jam has a nice little keyboard there. Uh, one of my most recent phones I've messed with here is the, um, the uh, Sprint IP830. It's got the slide-out keyboard there. It gives you more real estate on the screen. It's a pretty nice phone. A uh, lot thicker than the uh, 6925, though. But so, but anyway, uh, this is um, the 6925. It has a nice uh, smoke glass plastic screen, which is easily taken on and off if you don't like it. See that? You just slide it back, right back on. Flips up and down. Uh, another thing that comes with it, which I particularly don't like, but I've heard some people that really do like this belt clip here. It's a, just a little belt clip. It's not a removable clip. You just pop your phone right there, and bam, it's not going anywhere. See that? It's not going anywhere. Uh, you still, you're not protecting your camera there, but, you know. Anyway, that's the belt clip. So, what do we have here? We got nice keypad. I don't have my 6500 anymore to show you the difference, but it's got some improvements, including the backlighting for it. Let's see if we can see that backlighting at all. Eh, you can't really tell the... There you go. That's a little better. So, but anyway, oops. See, that glass is so good, it had me fooled there. So, but anyway, we, uh, at the bottom you have your iPad standard connector there uh, the, in the box it came with a straight USB to that connector uh, there is no cradle I'm sure you can get one aftermarket but um, got your headphone jack here uh, down here got the little release button for the battery compartment which slides right down like that got 1200 megahertz or milliamp hour battery there sim card I showed you that a little bit ago there a uh, 1.3 megapixel camera with a little vanity mirror. Uh, on this side, got your hour port here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. Still got the protective film on it. Got your camera button here. Your volume slider up and down there. Nothing at the top except for the stylus, which is a plastic stylus. And it's hard getting used to going to the top to get your stylus again now. All the, most PDAs I've ever owned had it on the top, but you know the uh, HTC, a lot of the HTC devices I've messed around with have them down here at the bottom. Uh, mini SD slot. I don't have one in there right now because I don't intend on using this phone again. Um, Jack Cook is going to be writing us a review, a full review of this. But, well, this, don't please don't consider this a review. This is just a first look, obviously. Uh, so, but anyway, um, got your your uh, selector if you watch the screen there this position dial here you can go here and go side to side and select those icons there and if you push down on it selects it which let's do that with a uh, Wi-Fi it brings you to the Wi-Fi panel well, actually it turned it right on there I'm gonna turn it back off because I don't need it where I'm at right now so you can change your profiles right here on the front screen you don't even have to pull your screen up to do a lot of this change where you want to go. I'm going to keep it on outdoor. So I'm going to wrap this up pretty quick. I don't want to make another 15 minute on something you've probably already seen before. And you have you can customize this obviously. And you see I've played with it quite a bit today with 36% on a full charge this morning. Well actually not quite full charge. So but anyway um, let's uh, take you through a few of the applications here.
flip this cover up here and I'm going to set this down and reposition our camera here and give you a better look. Oh, come back screen. So, but anyway, we got standard pocket PC mostly. Go to settings. Connections, Active Sync, Network Card, you got your wire iPad wireless suite here, which uh saw this new layout with the uh the four thousand series I showed y'all a couple of days or last week. You set your phone settings, your Wi Fi, your Bluetooth, all that from right here. You got your wireless LAN where it actually shows your uh, IP address and all the good information you want for your LAN. You got your settings here. Site survey shows you a list of all the available hotspots that you can that you're seeing right at the moment. Uh, quick GPS connection. You uh, can go over Edge or Wi-Fi, whichever you're connected to, and download updates for your GPS connect, uh, GPS connection. Uh, with this, it comes preloaded with Pocket Streets 2006. I think it was 2006. Let's check that. Programs. Pocket Streets. Come on back down here. Sorry about that. Pocket Streets. I think this is version 2006. About. Yeah, 2006. Uh, I've got a few maps there, but. Uh, I wasn't able to get a real good. It took about uh, five, about five minutes inside this uh, pretty, pretty bricked up building that I'm in to get uh, five satellites to get a good fix, and uh, I didn't even have the right maps loaded, so I'm not going to demonstrate that. But um, it does not come with TomTom Tom or uh, one of the other GPS suites that you might hope it would come with, but uh, it does come with Pocket Streets at least does have your GPS receiver already built in so let's see here what else we got here settings connections we already went through that system let's go to I'm trying to do this over the camera so you got your standard power stuff USB charging slow or fast all that good stuff uh, memory let's see what we got available here storage card not installed running programs stop so there's that HP profiles application so you can set up all your different setups real easy for uh, your profiles and you can change like I showed you you can change that on the front page so anyway let's see what kind of software we got here it's pretty basic got a couple add-ons uh, modem link don't know what Java is you can get the good push email, uh, get telenav, I guess that's where you can download maps over the air. You got your standard two games there. So, it's a pretty good device. Um, I made a bunch of calls with it today. And it's got a new, you can see there, it's got a nice new looking uh, call thing. You got your call history, which uh, you don't need to know who I've been calling, so I'm going to leave that alone. But so, um, got a great signal here in this building, which uh, some phones are pretty challenged with a uh, signal here in this building that I'm in. So it was not. I, I, I give the the uh, signal probably a four out of five. So but anyway, I'm Chris Lightness Mobility Site. Thanks for watching, and uh, look forward to uh, seeing Jack's full review in a couple of days, or maybe a week, two weeks. I don't know. We're not gonna put too much pressure on him. Have a good day.